It's been a while since I've done this and I've been thinking about doing this all day, hyping it up. We are going to be doing all Rifleman versus Imitation game today. I don't know what it is. Just doing this, really fun. Like, all Rifleman strat, not the best, but it's incredibly fun because of all the spam. And a little bonus today, we'll actually have one more Rifleman than the last time I did it because we have one maxed out landing craft. Seven to go. Um, but a total of 225 Rifleman versus Imitation Game, plus whatever we revive with Dr. Kavan's second win. So let's waste no more time and hop into it. And of course, we have an extra ability and one of the, uh, I wouldn't say, I, I wouldn't say the ability out, the deployable turret is kind of a fan favorite. I wouldn't say that whatsoever. It's pretty weak and not that fun. I think... It's got its memo, we're, we're just gonna throw a few and show you guys. It does like no damage, and I guess it's it's kind of like a single critter. You throw it down, it can tank some stuff up, but odds are it's just not gonna do any damage, but I, I think it, it got its reputation from the engineer, so um, something we gotta deal with, and already on stage two, we got a green base alert but it's imitation game so he always finds the green base alert so let's get rid of some of those boom mines we do not want any riflemen to die yet at least okay and i also don't have max level riflemen right now they came out with a new level with the hq25 update i think the first one not quite sure but um we have yet to max those out but i will be getting them maxed out probably after the warriors or something like that but let's get a flare on the hq down it goes and thankfully that boom cannon did not take a rifleman with him because i was a little bit scared there and stage two we get our first crystal that is very nice we, we will turn you into power powder eventually moving on to stage three the first what five six stages you just go through the motions i've said this like a billion times but i wish with the uh, cycle of evil events it would kind of depend on your level where um instead of uh for like dr t an imitation game here where they would give you um they would give you like basic stages like this and kind of universal for the whole thing i wish like as you, I, I just wish they gave you like seven more difficult stages. They could still progress the levels, but starting off against like level 30s here, it's kind of insulting as a level 71 if I don't say so. Actually, I think I'm a level 72. Where am I only a level 71? I forgot what, uh, what level I got to a couple weeks ago, but I, it would just be more challenging and you could also add more loot to it as well so there would be more of a reward instead of just making it harder i am a level 72 and almost a quarter of the way to level 73 which i do not know do you achieve that since this hq 25 update i assume you do but um we'll, we'll get to 73 eventually even if it's at hq 26 if they come out with that but anyway stage four here uh let's speed it up this is getting kind of boring and by speeding it up, of course, I mean just barraging, but probably not taking out the HQ. Oh, yeah. There we go. We're able to take out stage four with it um, up until like stage four. They got the ice statues even. I was still basically able to fully bard it down there. Not sure if taking out a couple of those buildings helped or not. But moving on to stage five. And uh, after this stage, it gets a bit. <laughs> what is this stage five? All the mines in front. I guess that could be problematic if we don't deal with it. But like, where are all the defenses? Or is that like a normal amount of defenses, but it feels empty because of all the all the like filler buildings that provide nothing on defense? Uh, they're off to the side there. But anyway, we're gonna prepare a nice path for the riflemen, and this should take like two seconds to take out. Let's get some shock bombs out. Um. Alright, we spent all of our energy in shocks. You know what that means. We're going to throw out some deployable, deployable turrets. Easy for you to say. Um, yeah, you can tell the deployable turrets there. Carrying this strategy, doing a great job. Actually, they soaked up a little bit of damage there. Possibly a boom cannon shot? Not quite sure. And they didn't die. But a rifleman did. I did not see we lost a rifleman there goes 1800 gold finally moving on to the more beefy stages of imitation game stage six 
still usually pretty simple every once in a while. Um, Hammerman must be having a bad week or something, and he essentially puts a stage 8 as stage 6, but that's more likely to happen with Dr. T. And we're just going to clean up some boom mines, because nothing like a, either a clump of regular mines or some boom mines to destroy some Johnson's day. And then we're going to get a couple shotguns out, and this is where, see, I'm using all riflemen, and the grappler is still giving me anxiety. Like, there's no chance in history a grappler can come in clutch and affect an all rifleman strat. But it pulls the deployable turrets. That's incredible. I guess it's treated the same way as a critter. I did not think that would happen. Um, but yeah, even even though I'm using all riflemen, the grappler pull it one at a time. Still, still like, ooh, flashbacks. I, like, imagine it's a scorcher. If it pulls a scorcher, like... You can throw a smoke down and protect it, but odds are that Scorcher are probably going to die. Let's retrain our troops. Ooh, a whole 21,000 gold. And this is where we get the most difficult stage. And the most difficult stage today is a green base alert. Come on, Hammerman. See, he, he chooses the green base alerts to try and phase me. He knows my reaction is going to be severe when I see he chooses a green base and he, he thinks it's gonna work to the advantage little does he know and I don't mean to spoil my game plan here green base alerts make me more motivated to take out the base and we're gonna start off just uh, going in with no plan essentially except shock anything that can slow my rifleman down so rock launcher, shock launchers, and machine guns. And once we get past this first, we're, we're actually going to use second wind here. We're going to pop it. We're going to try and get as many riflemen. We're going to show um, Hammerman what's up. And then, wow, it's worse than I thought. Are you kidding me? How is this a stage 7 imitation game? I was talking about how they need to make the first uh, 5, 6 stages a little more difficult. It... it you need to make all the stages more difficult, Hammerman. And to think, you get an extra attack. Like, if I were to fail this in retreat, we would have the extra attack. Like, come on. Anyway. I, I just wish it was a bit more challenging. Because I'm bad at this game, and still, like, I, I've taken out every week, no problem. I, 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 I don't know. But anyway. Um, I think we got a couple player bases on the map to clear. I didn't have as much of a selection I was, as I was hoping for, but we can switch to the Skormadir. Slow day spawning bases today. Let's get our Skormadir loaded up, and I kind of wish I boosted resource reward for this, because then we could potentially, I guess I still could, but I didn't for imitation games, so now I, I don't want to, because it's like more resources missed out on, but flawed logic um but let's clean up this minefield in front here get our scorchers down and let's we'll kind of see how this plays out it's nothing too difficult in the first i would say third of the base and then we run into a damage amplifier with some boom cannons so that should be fun what we're gonna do we're gonna throw a couple barrages and probably a pair of artillery to take it out i probably i only need to throw one he doesn't have a building house statue i saw the one right here the 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 building damage and i was like you almost always pair them up there's definitely a building health somewhere in the trees there nope so we, we just wasted an extra artillery for no reason um, but a good start to our Skormadir map clear because um, uh, the the loot he had was decent and we also are in no danger to lose this battle. So that's nice. However, we did lose our signature medic for the attack where the one medic in... It's out of place in this strategy. You don't gotta tell me. I've known this for a while. Goes out and dies. It, I, I think... I just forget about the medic medics in this strategy it's always it's always about the scorchers and bombardiers and the medics way of getting attention from captain here the goat mr goat is he goes out and dies and he's like oh he's definitely gonna make a comment about me and apparently i'd rather be a casualty than survive so medics what we've learned 
their attention seekers. I hate sky shields. They're so annoying, but luckily for me, uh, by the way, I put down a sky shield on my base because I hope it deters people from attacking it. I, I, I hate losing the medals, but I will, I will subconsciously judge bases if they got a sky shield. Like this one's all right. It's only got a boom cannon, sniper tower, and mortar under it. But like, if there's any like defense that could potentially give me a headache, and I have a chance to avoid attacking a player, like it, it's most likely going to be a sky shield base, which uh, I guess it works. So I, I'm trying to use that same. But let's see if other people think the same way as I do. Probably not. But uh, yeah, we're going to be able to take it out. Let's go back to base. I still have an upgrade going. That sculptor um, upgrade that just came out. It's still going, but I think there's only like 15-20 minutes left on it, so we can go and get a different upgrade. 10 minutes, two diamonds, down the hatch, and now I like... All the upgrades I want are not available. It's like tweener upgrades. Let's get the uh, loot collected from the boat. Did that do anything? We can get a sniper tower upgrade. A sniper tower? Rocket launcher upgrade. To think it wasn't even a long day and we can get the rifleman going to max level all right well this was 225 uh not maxed out rifleman versus imitation game i can't wait to get them maxed out and the landing crafts maxed out so i'll have seven more even uh but until next time we'll see you tomorrow Bye bye